I can't imagine, I can't even, I can't even think up, and I don't even want to say, I don't even want to curse it, I can't even think up what's coming around the corner, right? I am convinced that we are going to go through a very real period of starvation in this country. And I, and I am convinced also that you will be starving, you will have no job, and you will still have people that are convinced that it's because of white supremacy. Yeah. You're of complete and utter nonsense that we are dealing with in this country. I, what is it going to take for you to wake up to the fact that this is tyranny? That this is the stuff that they convinced you, that media brainwash is real, okay? America's not special. What happens in China? What happens in North Korea? State-sanctioned TV. Their job is to make you agree with the state, okay? The state is in control. You sacrifice everything to the state. That is their job, and you're still watching it. I went on Twitter today. This is a real headline on MSNBC, okay? Real headline. Opinion. Why inflation is actually a good thing. <laughs> oh, oh, inflation, your high gas price, it's actually a good, it's a good thing. And all you have to do is realize that it's actually a good thing and your life will get better. What is wrong with people that are still watching these networks? How do you not understand that these people work for the government? How do you not actually objectively look at your life and say, my life is getting worse. I am poorer. I am un more unhappy. I, my kids are not safe. People that I didn't vote for or elect like OSHA and the CDC are making laws and mandates. That is not the way our constitution works. Have you read the constitution? Do you know what the constitution says? Do you understand that this administration is walking over, the, they're ripping up the constitution because the constitution cannot exist in the same place that a communist country exists. There could be no God when the government is going to become God. There could be no nation under God and when they want a nation under an omnipotent government. What is it going to take for you to wake up? I wanted to share this urgent message by Candace Owens. I found this video on a Facebook um, where she shared the whole big video. You can watch on her Facebook, Candace Owens. But I wanted to take that snippet for people to watch it and get interested because we are living on the edge at this moment, at this time. It's not to play around. I am calling all churches, all pastors to get on their knee, pray for the United States of America, pray for revival, pray for the evil to be taken down and the righteous to be restored. Pray to God because when leaders of the nations, their heart is not aligned with God, then nations suffer and the people suffer too. But if the leaders like King David, as long as King David's heart was aligned with God, Israel prospered. Same thing with the soonest his heart turned away, they lost the battles. Same thing with Saul. When his heart was right with God, perfectly everything was working fine. But soonest he disobeyed God, Israelites lost and King Saul was replaced. But not just only he lost his life, but he also cost Israel lives too. Same thing with King Solomon. You can go down in the history. When his heart was aligned with God, he asked for wisdom, God gave wisdom to him. But as soon as he turned away from God, he began to fall into in love with the foreign ladies, his heart was moved away with God and that suffered the split of North and Southern Kingdom in Israel. That's why it's important that our heart is aligned with God and we're not playing around. We're not, we're not choosing leaders that are going to be detrimental to our society, you know. Some people choose a certain leader just because they have hatred for another leader in their heart. Choose not for just out of selfish motive, out of because simply you don't like the person. 
choose because you want the person to do right because we are not asking for pastor in the white house we're not asking the priest in the white house or, or somebody else or some righteous person who never committed a sin but we are asking a fair square person who will do right who will just do right and have a right the posture of his heart towards god that's what i want people to start praying for candice mentioned a lot of things and that's where she gets passionate about it i love it because she has a passion for a nation she wants to see united states of america come to uh come to awaken to uh, for for americans to open their eyes to see like hey we we cannot long if we just blink our eyes something bad's going to happen so that's why i'm agree with her what she's saying make sure you share this video comment right below have a blessed night